Hi everyone, in this video I was planning to talk about the tile service but I have learned that this one should be used only for debugging purposes so I left it. But if you want to read more about it, please check the documentation. I will make sure to put this link in the video description so that you can come to this website and read about it. The video that you are watching is the last video on this course. I will show you how to change the default OSRM parameters to control, for example, the maximum size of points that each service can handle or the number of alternative routes or even the algorithm used to generate those routes, etc. Make sure to download the project from my GitHub repository. The link can be found in the video description. Open notebook number six to demonstrate how to modify the maximum size of points that can be fed into each service. I am reusing the code from the match service notebook because after extracting the points from the G JPX file, we end up with 1,420 points. When we try to make a request to the match service, we get this error telling us that the request is too big. Let me stop the engine and run this command. So here I am adding this option dash dash help in order to give me the parameters that I can change. And here is the list of parameters that we can alter. Between parentheses, we have the current values. For example, if I don't set algorithm by default, OSRM will use CH. If I don't change the maximum trip size, by default, the value will be 100. You can see that for this one, VRout size, I have changed it from 100 to 500. In the notebook, we are using the match service. So I will copy this parameter name and here is how you do it. So here by default, this is how you run the OSRM routing engine. But if you want to add parameters, as you can see here, for example, algorithm, we are forcing it to use MLD instead of CH. For the matching service, I have added this to set the max size to 500. You saw that from after extracting the data from the JPX file, we have well over 1400 points. So now let's just change this to 1500, copy the command, run it. So the engine is running. Let's go back to the other notebook or to the other VS Code instance. Now, if I try to make the request, you can see that I was able to make it. Why? Because I have changed that value from 100 or 500 into 1500. Let's go back to the help panel. So I'll stop the engine, go to help. Then let me enlarge this panel. And what I want you to do is to read the description for each parameter and you figure out what you need to change based on your use case. Maybe you want to have the ability to add a lot of points when using the routing, the routing service. For that case, come here, search for max VRout size. This one, max location supported in VRout query. If you want to change the trip, the trip size, do that by altering this parameter, etc. And I also encourage you to play with the algorithm, even though if you go to the GitHub repository for the OSRM packet projects, you will see that they are recommended to use MLD. But try the CH algorithm. Maybe that will give you better results than the MLD. So we have the parameters here. Play with them and see what works best for you. That wraps up this video and the entire course. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. Thank you so much for your support and I hope you found it valuable.